Uh, let's see here. Three point five times ten to the third mole H two O. Converting that to mole O two. So let's take a look. I need mole H two O. Change that to purple. I'll use a purple. And I'm using blue for O2. So let's see here. All right. Let's take a look at some conversion factors. We need the 15. Over the six, or we need the six over the so I need a mole of O two. I need option A. So my knockout's gonna be three five times ten to the third times fifteen divided by six. And let's see here, I come up with a law of 8.75 times 10 to the third, and I need two sig figs, so there's my round spot. So I'm going to go with 8.8 .8 times 10 to the third mole of O2. Next up in that set. It's 825 mole of CO2, and I'm converting that to mole H2O. So I'm going to need this over this or this over this. Set it up. I need a mold of H2O. So I need option A. So my knockout is going to be 825. We'll check the nexus first. Mole cancels. We're good. 825 times 6 divided by 12. Come out with my raw is going to be 4.125 times 10 to the second, three sig figs, one, two, three. There's my round spot. I'm going to round that up to 4.13 times 10 to the second, mole H2O. So 
use in this system. Going to a type four problem now. Got a type four problem. My first one up is 75 grams, C6H6, two grams of CO2. So I need to come over. I need C6H12 in here. So I'm going to go ahead, change that up. I need C6H6. Again, you've got carbon. You've got six of those. Well, atomic weight is 12. You've got hydrogen. You've got six of those. Atomic weight is one. Six times one is six. The total there is 78 grams per mole. A handy dandy molecular weight one, or bank, as I like to call it. So, things we're going to need, we know it's type 4, it's a G to G problem, type 4, you're going to have five numbers. Number one, you're going to have a given. Number two, you're going to need the molecular weight for the given, which we just calculated. Three, you need coefficient for the given, which is two. Number four, we need the coefficient for the end game, which is CO2, which is 12. And then The molecular weight for the end game, which I've calculated in my bank already, 44. I know it's going to be a three step problem. Doing this one, I'm going to work from front to back. I've been working them from back to front, so I'm going to change it up, work this one from front to back. So, first up, I've already placed my given in, which was I've used that. So, I take my molecular weight for the given, that goes downstairs. That's one of two numbers that will be downstairs. Then I need my coefficient for the given. That's two, that's six. Use that. And upstairs, I'm going to put the coefficient for the end game. And use that. And then the last piece of the puzzle is the molecular weight for the end game. That always goes upstairs. So essentially everything for the end game here and here are always going to be on top with the third number for the given. So it goes given, end, end. And then on the bottom you have given, given versus end, end. This would be given. And this will be with the given. And, and, and another way of thinking about that. So I've used all five numbers. So if the package is correctly assembled, there should be three on top and two on the bottom. On three on top, 75 times 12 times 44 divided by 78 times two on the bottom. And then for the knockout, and I come up with a raw of 2.53846 times 10 to the second. 
my super food check. My sig figs are two. There's my round spot. I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to go with 2.5 times 10 to the second grams of CO2. That is. Next up, got twenty five grams of CO two, converting that into grams of C six H six. So I identified it one as a type four problem, G to G. So I know I'm going to need five numbers. First up, given second molecular weight for the given and for CO2, we've already calculated that, that's 44. Third, we need the coefficient for the, or the uh, given, which is 12. Then we need the coefficient for the end game, which is C6H6, which is two. And then for the last number, we need the molecular weight, which we calculated 78. There they are. Now, package assembly. Got the given. So I've been working, I'm gonna do this one front to back. So I've got my given in there. I need my 44, which always goes downstairs. Then 12 mole CO2 downstairs, given given downstairs. Then put my end game stuff upstairs, two moles C6H6 done. And then the last step, and done. So package assembly, three on top, two on the bottom. There's one. There's two, there's three, there's one, there's two. Three on top, two on the bottom. So we know the package is assembled correctly. And my raw is three. Six nine three one eight one times ten to the first, or simply thirty six. And I have three sig figs, so I'm going to go with here. I'm going to go with thirty six point nine. And that should give me three sig figs, and it does.
that next you get 825 grams of O2 and we're converting that to grams of CO2. So you've identified it as a G to G. You know you're going to have your five numbers. So number one given. Number two, molecular weight for given. And we already calculated that for O2. We have that in our bank. It's 32. Number three, coefficient for the given which is going to be 15. Coefficient for the end game, which is CO2, and that's going to be 12. And then last step, molecular weight for the end game, CO2 is 44. All right, let's assemble the package. So, 825. So, we've been working front to back. We've used the given. Next up, 32. That goes downstairs. Fifteen goes downstairs. Again, everything for the given goes downstairs. Back to upstairs for the end game. 12 moles CO2. And last but not least. And there it is. Check the connectors here, here, here. Mole O2, CO2, gone. Last player standing, gram CO2. Then for the knockout, 825, there should be three on top, 12 and 44. And downstairs, I have 32 and 15. Gonna come out with 907.5. Check the same figs. I've got three. I'm gonna go ahead and round that up to 908. And that gives me three sig figs. And that That's the last problem on set two. And then for set three, we're changing reactions. So we got this up. See, let's get the new system on the board. <clears throat> so we got a C10 H22 system, so we're going to need a new molecular weight. So I'm going to come over to the bank. And do this. I've got carbon. We've got 10 of them. 10 times 12, 120 for hydrogen. I've got 22 of them. Atomic weight is 1, 22. So my molecular weight is going to be 142. All right, now we've got everything we need. 
get started. So first up, we've got some type three problems. So I've got C10H22, it's mole CO2. So I'm going to need this and I'm going to need this. So I'm going to go 20 mole CO2 over four. And I need the two. My two options. Okay. So mobile CO2 on top, so I need option A. So I'm going to have the 20 mole CO2 on top. The two moles C10 H22 on the bottom. My nexus is there, mole C10 H22. And my knockout is going to be five oh two times twenty divided by two. And I come out with a nice clean 502 as my, my raw. And I have three sig figs. One, two, three. I have three sig figs. That can't be right. I'm off by an exponent. It's 5.02, yeah, times 10 to the third. And we go. Don't lose the X on it. Right, next up, let's take a look at thirty six moles. Conversion factors. I'm going to need CO2 again. I'm going to need C10H22. What option we're ending the mole of C10, so we need option B. So two is going to go on top, and then the 20 is going to go on the bottom. Out with a nice clean 3.6. All right, these have come out clean this morning. You see, I'm battling the sick figs.
Thanks. Yes. Do we need Brennan and CO2? So we need option A. Thirty-one goes downstairs, which should create the nexus. There it is. That's the nexus, the connector. Okay, and the knockout one twenty-five times twenty divided by thirty-one. One twenty five, twenty, thirty one, five, and I come out with eighty point six. Check that again. One twenty five, twenty times, eighty point six four five. I have three sig figs. There's my round spot. I'll leave it at eighty point six. Uh, let's see, next up, we've got 3.6 times 10 to the third mole to two. Again, this is a type 3 problem, it's mole to mole. Some conversion factors up there. I need H2O. And I need C10 H22. Do I need? I need mole C10 H22 on top, so I need option A. And Nexus here. And our knockout is going to be 3.6 times 10 to the third times 2 divided by 22. I'm going to come up with a raw of 3, 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, 7, 10 to the second. Two sig figs in. There's my round spot. I'm going to kick that up one and go 3.3 times 10 to the second. 
is my best answer. All right, looks like we're shifting to some type four problems. So first up, we've got 125 grams of C10 H22 to grams CO2. It's a G to G, it's a type four problem. You know you're gonna have your five numbers and we've already calculated the molecular weight for C10. Ooh, we had H12, we need H22 here. So we need 10 more hydrogens to be one times 10 would be 10. So that's gonna be 10, right? 22, so that's gonna be 152. Had the wrong electrical weight there. All right, the whole system in chaos. All right, first up, given 125 grams C10H22. Number two, molecular weight for the given, which we now have is 152. Number three, two purples in there. Coefficient for the given is two. Coefficient for the end game is 20. And then molecular weight for the end game again, we have it in our bank is 44. Okay. Five. Set up a playing field. Everything starts with given. Three steps, one, two, three grams C2. This set I'm gonna work in backwards by like mixing things up. So first up, I need GCO2, which is step five. Number five is with the, get, uh, the end game, so it's gonna be on top. So I've used five, now I'm on to four. So I've got mole here. I'm gonna need 20 mole CO2 on top. Again, things with the end game are gonna be on top. So we switch to the given system now, which we know goes on the bottom. And then all we got to do now is plug in the molecular weight, which we know goes downstairs. And there it is. Check the nexus here. Mole C10, CO2, last player standing 44, which is what we would expect in a correctly assembled package. We have three on top. There's one, there's two, and there's three. So my top players are 125, 20, and 44, and I should have two on the bottom, which is 152, and two. Three on top, two on the bottom. You look good. Then just execute it. 125, enter. 20 times, 44 times, 152, enter. Two times, hit divide. Got a raw answer. 3.618421 times 10 to the second. Let me do a sig fig check. Three, one, two, three. There's my round spot. I'm going to kick that up one. I'm going to go 3.62 times 10 to the second grams of CO2 for that one. Let's 
take a look at the next one. We've got 850 grams of CO2. And we want to convert that to grams of C10H22. So he is recognizing the problem. So you've got a G to G, so you know it's a type four problem. So you're going to need five numbers. So I keep five markers handy. Number one, given 850. Number two, molecular weight for the given. And we have that on the big board. That hasn't changed all day. That's 44. And we need coefficient for the given, which is 20. Then number four, we need coefficient for the n, which is C10H22, which is two. And then number five, we need the molecular weight for our end game, which is 152. Assemble the package, 850 grams CO2, three steps, one, two, three grams C10H22 out the tailpipe, and okay. looking backwards, 152 will go on top, and that's the end game. Then coefficient for the end game goes on top. And coefficient for the given goes on the bottom. And then the last number to place, of course, we already used the given. That's how we start this process. And you place the 44 on the bottom. Check your nexus. Here, grams, CO2 gone. Whole CO2 gone. Whole C10H22 gone. Last player standing, grams, C10H22 is what it should be. And verification three on top, 850 times two times 152. So my three top players downstairs, I got 44, and I got 20 as my downstairs players. Then execute it. I think I hit the division key twice. Eight fifty matter two times one fifty two times times and the bottom. And I come up with a raw answer. 2.936363 times 10 to the second. Do my sig fig check. I've got two sig figs. There's my round spot. I'm just going to go 2.9 times 10 to the second grams C10H22. That is. All right, let's see what we got next. Let's see here, we got 3.8 times 10 to the second grams H2O, and we're converting that into grams O2. Okay, so problem identification, it's GG, type four, five numbers. One, 
3.8 times 10 to the second grams H2O. Two molecular weight for the given H2O. We calculated it over here. It's 18. Efficient for the given H2O, 22. Or we need coefficient for the end game, which is O2, which is 31. And then we need the molecular weight for the end game, which we calculated over here as O2 is 32. There's our five numbers. We know it's five numbers and three steps. One, two, three, grams, two out. So, start at the end, grams O2 goes on top. So 32 grams of O2 goes on top. Done. Next we got 31 to place. We know it's with the end game. It's going to be always on top. So the number goes with the given. It goes on the bottom. And let's see, we're into the molecular weight region. We need the 18, and we know the 18 goes on the bottom. Yep. Then verification, check the nexus. Grams, water gone. Moles, water gone. Moles, O2 gone. G, H2O, last player standing. The number verification, three on top, 3.8 times 10 to the second times 31 times 32 divided by should be two on the bottom, 18 and 22 respectively. Three on top, two on the bottom. Then execute it. There's my raw answer. Check my sig figs too, right there. I got no reason to change anything, so I'm going to go with 9.5 times 10 to the second grams O2. And the last one. That's what we're converting. Recognize it as a G to G. It's type four. Type four, you know, you're going to have five players. So, first up, 10.5 grams of O2. Come over to your point in the weight bank. You can pull a 32 out. Then you need coefficient for O2, which is 31. Then you need coefficient for the end game, which is CO2, which is 20. And then you need the molecular weight for the end game, and it hasn't changed all day, it's 44. Five numbers, three will be on top, two will be on the bottom, then you execute it. So we've got 
still in the end game, so end game numbers go on top, gone, which automatically puts the given stuff on the bottom, and then put in the molecular weight, which is 32, and that always goes downstairs, and there's the playing field. Check the nexus. Here, grams O2 gone, mole O2 gone, mole CO2 gone, gone. Last player standing, GCO2. Should be three on top, 1025 times 20 times 44, divided by the two downstairs, 32 times 31. And then execute it, uh, 1025, 20, 44, 32, 31, and divide, and my raw is 9092741 times 10 to the second. And let's see what sig fig check. We got four. Wow, first one we've had four. One, two, three, four. There's a round spot. That's a two, that's a seven. I'm going to kick that up one. We go with 9.093 times 10 to the second grams CO2. That is on the set. I'm going to go ahead and do one type one and one type two to end this thing. Got a little time left. Again, in case you're just tuning in, type one involved Avogadro's number, and that's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms or molecules, depending on what your system is, is equal to one mole atoms or molecules. So I'm just going to make up one here. Number pops into my head. 8.62 times 10 to the 50 seconds. I'm going to go atoms of carbon, and I want to convert that to moles of carbon. So first up, start with a given, 8.62 times 10 to the 52nd atoms of carbon, out pops moles of carbon. Well, I'm ending in moles of carbon, so the one would have to go on top, and 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms carbon will go on the bottom, check the nexus, atoms of carbon cancel, it's going to be a division. Type 1, there's only going to be one step, it's going to be either a division problem or a multiplication problem, depending on the way to 6.02. So, I'm going to divide this one out, 8.62 to the 52nd, 6.02 to the 23rd, and I've got a raw answer of 1.431893 times 10 to the 29th. Do the same fig check. One, two, three, one, two, three. There's my round spot. I'm going to go with 1.43 times 10 to the 29th. And I'm going to do one type two problem. Type two problem involves 
molecular weight. So we're going to calculate molecular weight. And first up, my conversion I want to do is I have 64 grams of CH4. I want to convert that into moles of CH4. Well, anytime the problem involves grams and moles, it's a type two problem. The light bulb should pop out. You're going to need the molecular weight for CH4. So, what I've done in the past, or last Tuesday, anyways, I set up a table. I had my atom, I had carbon, I had hydrogen. I need my atomic weight. And then I want to have my total atomic weight. And this box down here, I'm going to have my molecular weight. So, for atomic weight for carbon is 12, atomic weight for hydrogen is 1. I need another cob, uh, column here, and that's the number of atoms. I have one carbon and I have four hydrogens. I multiply those two columns together. One times 12 is 12. Four times one is four. And then I add the last column to get the bottom box. 12 and four is 16. So my conversion factor to do this problem, I just calculated. It is 16. I have 16 grams of CH4 is equal to one mole of CH4, and that is my conversion factor. So I start with my given. Now with this, I want mole of CH4. So in this case, grams is going to go on the bottom, just like we did back in unit one, which puts the mole on top. And 16 would be 4. Just into two sig figs would be 4.0. That is a type 2 problem. So we did some, we, the, the emphasis today was on the sheet, which was type 3 and type 4. And then we went back and did some type 1s and type 2s. Uh, is there any questions? Questions? Questions. All righty. Uh, Can I return in our exam three again? I, I, you just need to email it to me. Very simple. I've got about 20 of them yet. Uh, you can use the answer sheet. You can take a sheet of scrap paper, fill it out, take a picture of it, send that. I've been getting them all kinds of ways. Been having people send them in Google Docs. I've had a couple of people that filled the exam out. They highlighted the answers they selected in bold and italic and sent me back the exam. Uh, I just need an answer key, something with your answers on it by 5 p.m. Friday, because that is the deadline. Does that take care of that? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? And again, a reminder, I got, like I said, I got about 20 exams. I uh, got probably uh, six more came in uh, yesterday that I haven't got to yet. So I'm going to get those knocked out today. Uh, that's pretty much it on the exam. Uh, anything else? Anything else? We got one more day on chem calcs. Uh, which would be next Tuesday. We'll do another round of uh, chemical calculations. And then uh, next Thursday, it's on to gases. Uh, any questions? Last call, last call, last call. No questions. OK, well, uh, take care and stay healthy. And I hope everybody tunes in next Tuesday. And also, I'll be sending a reminder out about the uh, five o'clock uh, deadline on Friday for the exams. So take care and I'll see you next Tuesday.